Would you like to know more about Voodoo Queen Marie Laveau? Well, I'm sitting inside her old house, her old homestead at 1022 St. Anne, the cottage that belonged to her grandmother who raised her. She was born and raised here, and eventually, five generations of Laveaux were at her side. She also had voodoo rituals here. She did her healings here, and she made a lot of magic. This new house is built on top of the old foundation, and everything still lives. Even the death of Marie Laveau was here, and I've connected with that. She would heal beyond the grave, and people began to go to her tomb, leave her offerings, and miracles have been documented. But that was made illegal a few years ago. You can't leave anything there anymore. So at altars all over town, and here, right at the cottage, this became an altar. People bring things here every day. Well, I have decided to rent this cottage, to go deep inside, to find the spirit of Marie Laveau. Yes, indeed, the house is haunted. Shadows there's dance. so much more. I have made altars to Marie Laveau and for Marie Laveau to activate and reawaken the spirit. We do seance. We do magic. We do psychic readings. We do psychic investigation, you might say, as well as deep original research. Phantom voices are heard. And seance and ghost hunting with equipment and with adepts from all over. There's much magic that has been waking up here. And a lot of, a lot of spirit whisperings have been heard. This is the techie room where we connect with the other side with you and adepts all over the country. And this is the swamp magic room where we make the grigri and the wangas. And that is what part of my swamp magic altar. We also grow some herbs out in her old soil. Subscribe to, to YouTube for more at Blue Demare and Watch us on YouTube. 